Di rumah ibu, yang berhormat Tuan Chow Kong Yao, Penang State Executive Council, representing the Chief Minister of the. Could you please stand for the Catwalk Party Mall, please? His Excellency Papa Munir Ari Sunyando, Consul General for Indonesia. Colonel P.K. Siwash, Defense Advisor, Idea and representing the Indian High Commission, Commissioner. Mr. Hari Kumar Shastra, Deputy Chief of Mission of Nepal. First Admiral Dato Okagani bin Ochman, Commander, Naval Area Region 3 of the Royal Malaysian Navy. Wing Commander Ken Robinson, Commanding Officer 324, Combat Support Squadron RAF Base Latwood, and representing the Australian High Commissioner and the Defence Advisor. Lieutenant Colonel Randall McClellan, representing the Commander Integrated Air Defence System. Yalbagia Datu Datu, Latin, the members of the Penang Veterans Association, PVA, ex-servicemen, supporters of Commonwealth Forces and local ex-service personnel, members of the press media, the St. Louis Press, ladies and gentlemen. We 
will now begin the Remembrance Day Reed Laying Ceremony by Gongli Whiting, Tuan Haji Ramli bin Jaffa to recite the Doa Selamat or the prayers. Tuan Haji, I wish to remind myself and relate to you what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam declared on the excellence of remembrance and prayers. Allah says, Indeed, I am as my servant presumes me to be, and I am with him when he remembers me. So if he remembers me to himself, I remember him to myself. And if he remembers me amongst a company, I remember him amongst a company greater than it. And if he draws near to me the span of a hand, I draw near to him the span of an arm. And if he draws near to me the span of an arm, I draw near to him the span of two outstretched arms. And if he takes a step towards me, I hastily step towards him. And for men and women who engage much in Allah's remembrance, for them has Allah prepared forgiveness and great rewards. And bring your law to remembrance in your very soul with humility and remember without loudness in words in the mornings and evenings and be not of those who are unheedful. Therefore, remember me, I'll remember you and be grateful to me and reject not faith. وصلى الله سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وبارك وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين تقبل الله منكم Thank you very much to Tua Haji Ramli for me to call it in white. Lieutenant Commander Retired G. Tagaraja, President of the Pakistan Penang Veterans Association, to deliver the book of address. Lieutenant Commander Tagaraja, please. On behalf of the Penang Veterans Association, I extend a warm welcome for all those present here today. We are gathered here to pay our respect, to remember those brave men who had given their lives in the belief that future generations should enjoy peace. We owe these gallant men a great deal and we make it our business not to forget them, forget the high price they had paid, our tribute to the millions of men and women, both in and out of uniform, who had given their lives for standing up to defend their countries when they were needed most. Today is the day we honour our soldiers, sailors, airmen and women in uniform who lost their lives. They fought because they believed by doing so they could preserve the nation as a free country to benefit our families and fellow men. They gave their future to secure our future. They are now lie in cemeteries, watery graves, and in remote areas and all over. Today is also a day we think of young men and women currently serving in uniform. Those in uniform serve now because we believe in the spirit and importance of maintaining military force. No doubt, it is the wish of all of us that our children our children's children could be spared from the horror of wars. The Armistice Treaty came into effect at the end of the First World War at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month on this day. Ceremonies are held across the globe to mark the anniversary ending the World War I. Today marks the 91st anniversary and we join all around the world to pay our tribute to the millions who died during the four-year conflict. The number of casualties incurred by all the countries was in the region of 35.6 million dead or wounded. It was a huge sacrifice and also a huge factor in turning the tide of the war against Germany. 
World War I was the world's first industrial war.